You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Weird Science Comics YouTube channel, where I'm going to be reviewing The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing, number seven, written by Matthew Rosenberg, with art by Carmine G. Diamonico. And I don't think this is crazy to say, but I don't like clowns. I don't like clowns. They just annoy me. They annoy me. It's not like they scare me. I'm a grown man, for crying out loud. But they do annoy me. And again, though, you're probably like, Jim, nobody likes clowns. That's not original. I'm not here to Chris Angel mind freak you. I'm setting up the review here. I'm telling you going in that I don't like clowns. But let's get to the review. And please, before we get into this, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do that. Like the video, enable the notifications, and let me know what you think of this big bunch of garbage in the comments below. And if you don't know by now, this book just doesn't make me, it makes me completely insane, is what it does. Because I think that it is just indicative of DC ripping people off. And also just the idea of them giving the reins to Matthew Rosenberg, who is a mid-writer at best, who is taking advantage of having a character like the Joker as his solo book deal. And in the end, if anybody is buying this, I don't think they're buying it for Matthew Rosenberg. They're buying it just for the Joker, and they're just getting fleeced. They're getting fleeced. But here we go. Have you ever gone on a really boring car ride? And I'm talking days on end, straight line road with no change of scenery, not another car in sight type of deal. Well, imagine adding a guy telling the same lame jokes over and over, jokes that were never funny the first time, and that's the Joker, the man who stopped laughing. I think the Joker stopped laughing because he read Matthew Rosenberg's script. The lack of plot and direction may be indicative of the Joker's crazy ways, but you know what? It's a real shitty way to write a comic. If you want proof that nothing much has happened in the series, the only thing that really sticks out in the first six issues is the Joker having a shit baby. That's the only thing that people talked about at all. It's the only thing they'll remember. It was a silly backup story that meant nothing. And that's the only thing worth mentioning so far. And that's kind of because Matthew Rosenberg got out and fought about that deal. A shit baby. This issue does nothing. To buck the trend and the feeling that this book is a complete waste of time and money and should never have been an ongoing series. Hell, there is barely enough story to fit a one shot so far. So is there anything that happens? What happens in this issue? Well, for almost all of this issue, the Joker is chasing and fighting Kate Spencer Manhunter. Now, Matthew Rosenberg does change this up a bit when he just has Kate Spencer chasing and fighting the Joker. And then you reverse it again and do that. Nothing goes on. Nothing goes on. This book is going nowhere slow. And, you know, you have all this going on. Besides all that, the scenes just continuously are filled with one note, repeated lame jokes. Last issue, the jokes were all about LAX airport. You know, me here on the East Coast, damn that LAX. I know all about that. Oh, my goodness gracious. And. It was it, it got cringeworthy. By the end, you're just like, come on, get over it. Let's go. I don't care how tough it is to get to LAX or how awful an airport it is. I live near Camden. I know when shit goes wrong, right? But in this issue, it's this meta social kind of, the Joker is talking about man hunter should be woman hunter, and they it's just it's it's cringe worthier. If that's actually a word. And if it isn't, I think it is now. Now, the Joker also goes out on a limb and makes fun of In N Out Burger. Again, something that's only in seven states. So most people have never tried it. I have. I was in Arizona once, and you know what? It was delicious. It was awesome. One of the best burgers I've had. So there. And I feel bad for the art team because Carmine DG at DeMonico tries their hardest to give this book some redeeming quality and really. If you're going to buy this, I'm guessing it would maybe be for the art. And I say if you buy it, but I'd stay clear of this one at all costs. And all costs, including the insane $5.99 price tag that DC thinks people want to spend on this hot garbage. $5.99. Now, the Joker, the man who stopped laughing, number seven, continues mucking about 
content to tell lame jokes while barely inching the overall narrative forward. The art is fine, but it can't be relied upon to do all the heavy lifting. Now, maybe this book isn't for me since I already told you I don't like clowns. Now, the twist here is, is I'm not talking about the Joker. And I'm going to give this book a 3.5 out of 10. And I'll like this book. Nobody's going to remember this book except for the ship, baby, in, in a year, half a year. This book should be canceled. It shouldn't even be on the shelves. It's just nonsense. But there you go. We get it. And I guess some people are enjoying it. And if you do enjoy it, you know, enjoy it, whatever. <laughs> I can't even say anything about it. I mean, really, I think that this book is pretty much the epitome of a cash grab of, you know, kind of stringing along a story just to have something on the shelf and you're really you're fleecing people who just want a Joker book and what you're going to end up doing is souring people to a solo Joker book because this is, as I said in my great French, garbage. But thanks, everybody. I'm going to get going now. Got to calm down, take my heart meds. So I will talk to you all later. You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution.